so last time we redid the we redid the sanitarium basement a couple of times because I was super conflicted about what to do about Helig. We didn't kill him and then we killed him and then we opened up the trunk and a thing a, a witch a wick a wix inside the trunk killed him and then we went back and we unkilled him again. Hua. Um, so we ended up not killing him. So we have to go back to the uh, catacombs and kill, um, Helig. And then, um, for fragments of a scattered faith, we have to go to the records archive. And we also have to go to the hall of revealed mysteries. So those are the things. Um, let's start with those. How deep have you explored deep right, paths? Then. Um, underneath Caden Nua, we haven't gone at all. Discovery, the first season after the mid-season break of Star Trek Discovery was so good. Westworld season two starts tomorrow. Oh, shit. I've never been to Nasitak. Is it very cold? What creatures wander the tundra? How are your leaders chosen? Do you always ask this many questions? Well, that's just to get us started. Whoa. Let me get out some parchment for notes. Welcome. Who's this? Beg your pardon. I have a message for you. You are summoned to Hadred House, where Lady Webb wishes to meet with you as soon as possible. They say she's an ancient spider spinning her nets through the city. She wishes to see you. That either bodes very well or very ill. Um, how did you know where to find me? Well, it's... It's Lady Webb. She knows everything. Tell me about her. Do you not know Lady Webb? She's... Well, no one's seen her exactly in a long time, but she's the mistress of Dunrid Row. Has been for as long as anyone can remember. Thank you, Chemical Pink, for five months in a row. She's supposed to be old. Older than anybody, and she never leaves her room. Some say she's wasted away, and she's just a pile of bones kept animated by dark magics. Ooh. She's still at it, best as anyone can tell. Learning things, keeping us safe. Pulling the strings behind the throne, too, it's said. Has a ring of ciphers doing her bidding, telling her everything that goes on. You do wrong in this country? Before you go asking the gods for forgiveness, best you ask Lady Webb first. What's, uh, Dunrid Row? A whole mess of ciphers run out of Hadrit House. They make it their business to keep the peace, but they don't like you to see them do it. Problems in this city have a way of going away on their own, and when that happens, you can make a pretty good guess as to why. Where can I find Hadrit House? It's just over there, southwest corner. Okay, let's Ask fucking go! If I don't know, I'll make something up. I want to see this evil lady's house. Whoa! 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 What the f People are appearing out of nowhere! As you near the apparition, you are overcome by suddenly by a powerful anxiety that sits like a stone in your stomach. The feeling is not quite real, the recollection of an emotion rather than the emotion itself. It wrenches your insides nevertheless. The apparition's brow is tensed, a look of concern playing across its face. The other missionaries say you have been neglectful of your duties. They lie. They speak out of concern for you. Now tell me, is there something to their concerns? No. The pain in your stomach deepens and you feel, for a moment, as though you are about to be sick. Your mouth has gone dry. Forgive me, e Eminence. I wish to leave the Order. The man folds his fingers together and presses them to his mouth, thoughtful. You have been an apt student, and your convictions have inspired those around you. May I ask what has changed to make you feel this way? Killick, I can't believe you have five Wormwood business cards. Have you ever um, gotten anything from Elderwood Academy? They're also pretty cool. Both I have things from Wormwood and Elderwood, and Level Up Dice is my favorite dice place. I like... D&D paraphernalia. 
Um, uh, the people we intended to convert, they committed unspeakable acts, sacrifices, mutilations. The, ex the apparition exhales slowly and its lips press together, a sympathetic rapport in its eyes. It places a hand on your shoulder. These are the ways of the heathen world. Um, a la night, I don't know what the order is. A lot of times you get, uh, because my, like, watcher powers have awakened, I get, um, like, visions of things that have happened in the past, and the game doesn't really explain to you what's going on. It just gives you choices so you can kind of determine what the past was. You get some kind of agency in in saying what had happened but you as a character are just as like you don't know what's going on either these are visions to you so it's all like information that you don't know surely the gods would do better to destroy us all and start anew <laughs> perhaps they would it may come to that one day this is why we must not fail the heathens are beyond the gods reach they do not know better. We are tasked with delivering them to the gods so that the gods may heal their souls. Is such a thing possible? I have seen it with my own eyes. You will see it too, if you choose to remain. Hmm. There is no greater calling than the one we have chosen. Neither words, nor wealth, nor battle will end this suffering. Only the gods. Will you give them that chance? The knot in your stomach seems to loosen all at once and the anxiety is replaced with something else entirely. Something warm and soothing. And it is something you know you can never repay. As the vision fades, you start to become cognizant of the many odd looks aimed in your direction. Your last response echoes in your mind. I will. Aw, oh, Black Dynamite, it's totally okay. You, I understand, like, things taking you away from the stream. I myself missed a couple streams that I wanted to do because I was overwhelmed from being sick and needing to do my taxes and having to go to the dentist. Sometimes life just happens, and I appreciate you being here and missing us. Um, just like we miss you. So us as a community... Um, everyone's important. I know it's really cheesy, but like, you notice when people aren't around and it's nice that even if you can't ma make it to every stream that you're thinking about us. I know I'm a ball of cheese. I'm a Gouda. Okay. Where's Lady Web? Let's sneak. Be discreet. Let's sneak around. Dunrid agent. Oh, they can see us. <laughs> Mad Gunner, thank you for the biddies. Um, where is the lady web? A link. Yes, I'm certain of it. Curran. Good day, stranger. The Orlin man is surrounded by books and scrolls. His wiry hair stands nearly on end and his ears prick up as you approach. You carry whispers. Keg Noir, Gilded Veil, vale. old voices indeed. Uh, what are you talking about? As a cipher, it's my job to know these things. You carry the whiff of ancients. Mm, what else can you tell me? Not as much as I would like, unfortunately. My duties for Lady Webb require me to fo focus my talents elsewhere. What brings you to Dunrid Row? Um, I was invited by Lady Webb. Forgive me, she doesn't take many visitors, but the ones she does invite are a fascinating lot. I've always marveled at her choices. Nothing in common to my eyes, but her sight is far keener than mine. I wonder what it is she sees. Her room is upstairs, the one with the guards out front. The city may not understand her value, but the duke certainly does. What are you so busy with? 
Hollowborn, growing unrest, the ever-present political intrigues. With so many missing souls, missing persons are the least of our concerns these days. It looks as though you could use some help. So many secrets and trails in this city, you have but to turn a corner to find a fresh trace, fresh trace of something stolen or someone missing. Unfortunately, we haven't the time to investigate them all. I am supposed to be working on other matters, but my mind still lingers on a few recent cases. Curse of a cipher to be ruled by the whims of curiosity. Why can't you look into these? A matter of priorities, says Lady Webb. Many problems in Defiance Bay these days. Problems with more than a few missing persons at stake. Um, tell me about these cases. One case or three, depending on how you look at it. Three weeks and a disappearance at the end of each. Some might call it coincidence. I call it a clue. Lady Webb knows you, trusts you, so I shall trust you too, as long as our interests are aligned. Uh, I'll look into it. Just like one of those Valian whodunits. Read a few of those on the road. Helps pass the time. Copperlane, Andra's gift, and Brackenbury, of course. Talk to the ones who reported the disappearances. The only ones who know enough to care. Laura, Ollie, and Elkga. Uh, d who's missing? Two women, one man. Or two men, one woman. Lendry, Kendall, and Cora. Tell me about Lendry. Best to ask Ollie. Seems they drank together at the salty mast in Andra's gift. Also seems no one else knew him well enough to miss him. Tell me about Kendall. Reported missing by Elkka, a dwarf who carried traces of... Fine wine and young dandies. Plenty of time and money to spend on her pleasures. Try Brackenbury. Tell me about Cora. Sister of Laura, one of the merchants in the Copper Lane Bazaar. Not the kind of person who would just disappear, it seems. Did you find any leads? Not yet. No obvious connection between the victims, which is what makes me wonder, so... Could be animancy related Researchers always need subjects. Less scrupulous types in particular. Seems too risky for the sanitarium, but one never knows. I wouldn't put it past them. Talk first to the people who reported our victims missing. Mayhap you will catch something I missed. All right, well, see you later. Um, what's this? What's happening? Oh, I don't have anyone that I can assign. So, what's her butt is upstairs. Lady Web. Lady Web. What level are my people? Um, what level are my and people? And what does the flame reveal? And what does the flame reveal? Ah. Uh, Five. We're level five. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll remember to save. Five. This place is huge. Ah. Lady Webb will see you now. This woman clutches a thick stack of parchment with spindly, wrinkled fingers, their flesh stretched thin to near translu translucence, translucence, with extreme age, a gossamer veil over pale blue veins. Ink splotches and candle burns dot and stripe her hands like quilt patterned after some great indescribable truth. She does not look up from her reading. So the messenger conveyed my summons. A miracle that would make the reincarnation of Aethys look like a child's cantrip, surely. It doesn't draw the most inspired minds, messaging. They failed me so many times of late, I nearly sent a cipher after you instead. So this is the Watcher who took over Cad Noir. Oh, don't look so surprised. It isn't an attractive expression. <laughs> I wouldn't be where I am for long if I let details like that escape me. 
This is exactly what I would picture Aloth's mother to be like. And this fiasco in the sanitarium that you seem to have gotten yourself into the middle of. What in blazes possessed you to stir that nest of trouble? Uh... Uh... I'm investigating a strange group. Strange does not begin to describe them. The practices of the Leaden Key defy all reason. Thank you, Rabble Will. I really appreciate it. You're not the only one with an interest in their recent activities. I've lost four ciphers this year alone trying to get someone inside their ranks. As it is, we only have our suspicions about who is in the group and what they intend. Which I suppose means we have much in common with them. I asked you here because I wanted to know what your interest was in all of this. I thought perhaps we might help each other. Why um, are you looking for the leaden key? Should I tell her the truth? I mean, she'll probably know if I lie. Doesn't she have a bunch of cipher? Yeah. I don't think I don't think there's any reason for me to lie to her. Uh, one of their members caused my soul to awaken. I need him to reverse it. She closes her eyes and the lids flicker. Then her face goes still and her mouth parts, little more than a sliver and her hand briefly drops open, spilling some of her parchment to the ground, the pages wafting around her legs like the leaves of a dying tree. Her fleshy eyelids peel back, and her gaze is immediately be upon you. The gods are cruel, I'm afraid. The man you seek is Theos Ix Arcanon, Grand Master of the Leaden Key, one of the most elusive and dangerous men Aora has ever known. How do you know I seek Theos? Because you have seen his face, and that makes it a simple matter for me to see it. You even happened to catch him in a ceremonial garb, it seems. Must have been a special occasion. What can you tell me about him? More than most, though very few would know so much as his name. And there is no way of knowing how much of what I've read is true. The Leaden Key dates back more than 2,000 years. If rumors are to be believed, Theos was the one who created it. This motherfucker 2,000 years old? What am I gonna do? What scraps of evidence exist suggest that he has died many times, only to be reborn each time exactly the same man. Awakened during adolescence, with all the knowledge and experience of all his lifetimes, the plots he orchestrates sometimes take hundreds of years to bear fruit. Needless to say, this is not the natural order of things. But he is said to be one of Woodica's favored, and that old bat was never one to let rules get in the way of favoritism. Okay. That may also explain another supposed gift of his. His body is no boundary to his soul, and he is known to take possession of others, if their souls are weak enough. Often it is for elaborate deceptions, but sometimes he simply forces them to kill themselves. Mm. He is not known for his generous supply of pity. He is also not one to show himself in any but their most critical matters. If he has directly involved himself in whatever the group plots now, it may be your only chance to find him. And once you do find him, if you can find him, I would not hold my hopes too high if I were you. He is a driven, single-minded man. He will not have the slightest concern for your problems. I mean, I think that, like, I find it really strange that I'm under the assumption that my awakened soul can be unawakened. Like, that's possible, even, and no one's like, yo, honey, that's not a thing. Like, is that, I wonder if that's common in this, like, society. That's a thing that can happen. The same way I come by all my knowledge. Exhaustive research, spying, bribery, perhaps some less savory measures. Whatever the knowledge demands, I pay in full. 
There is nothing of greater value. Unfortunately, with Theos, there is also nothing more scarce. He has covered his tracks far too well. His manipulations of the course of history are lost to time now, though I believe they were many. What do you want from me? Keep me informed. The Leaden Key has been busy lately, and that is distressing news. I can only guess as to what they intend. You seem to have a knack for turning the stones they've crawled beneath. Keep turning them. Dunreed Road will not stop. How? Frowning Storm, why did it show your resub twice? Well, welcome back for 16 months in a row twice, I suppose. Thank you so much. Whatever it is they're up to, figuring it out will be of great use to both of us. In your case, it will surely point you to Theos. In return, I will share our knowledge with you as we learn it, and provide you with what assistance I can. Hmm. Very well. If you find your trail has run cold, come to me with whatever you have. There is much I may be able to do for you. I already know something about them. Well, let's hear it. I found Theos. Oh, I, oh, right, I did. In Brackenberry Sanitarium, impersonating a patient. He was trying to damage the public's opinion of animancy. Forgive me. It is unlike Theos to leave witnesses. He hmm. must be furious. Hmm. He did not aid you as you'd hoped, I take it? Well, take heart. With any luck, when he has finished his business... He will surely come and find you again, if only to kill you while you sleep. Ah! Uh, Kane, I haven't seen Frank in chat, but she does stream herself, so you can probably just look her up, thank her on Twitter, or on her own stream. This news of yours makes sense, of course. To dabble in animancy is to puzzle over the secrets of the gods. This would not be the Leaden Key's first action against it. Hmm. But if this is connected to their other activities, we may be in for something on a much larger scale. If we can learn more about their goals and methods, perhaps we can get the palace behind us. With Avar's support, we may be able to put a stop to this. I feel like everyone in this game just talks really slow. All right, bye. Try your best. I'll try not to die. Oh, this is all stealing. I need to buy more like lock picks. Yeah, I don't figure that they'll really let me take anything from here. They're gonna be like, yo, that's stealing. Chocolate brownies, heck. Have I played M um, Neverwinter? No, I've not played any Neverwinter. <laughs> okay, so. I f did we already go into house Dominal? Um. Anyway, I figure, no, we went into Raymond Manor. It's really good. I haven't seen this damned Kendall person. What's your name? Who are you? How do you do? Oh. This dwarven woman is dressed and perfumed like a member of the nobility, but her sun reddened skin and sweat stained outfit suggest she's been out here for quite some time. Afraid I don't have time just now. Uh, I'm investigating Kendall's disappearance. That little Orlin finally got serious about this case, eh? Um. <clears throat> Dunred Row is strapped for resources at the moment, so Curran sent me. Well, I'm glad someone's on it. Anyway, tell you what I can. What do you need to know? Um, tell me about Kendall. What's to tell? He was a pretty young lad. Not the brightest of the bunch, but always pleasant company. 
How did you know him? We met up from time to time over the last few months. It was just a fling, really. It wasn't going to last. He was a little fool, but a sweet little fool. What was he doing before he disappeared? The worst blazing rendition of the general's speech from the Widow of the Wood that I've ever, ever heard. I love that fellow, but he was a tragic failure. Yet somehow, managed to get in with an acting troupe. Um, when and where did you last speak to Kendall? A week ago. He came back to my house for a bit of fun. Afterwards, we fell asleep, and when I woke up, he was gone. No note. Nothing. Had you noticed anything different about Kendall lately? He'd started hanging out with a bunch of actors. It seemed alright, except for that woman. That woman with her long, willowy legs and slender arms. Always came around wearing these low-cut dresses and impossible shoes. What's her name? I don't know. Never cared to learn it. I didn't realize it might be important. That's all the questions I have right now. If you think of any more, you know where, you know where I'll be. All right. So we're looking for a woman in impossible shoes. Ah, I don't care. I wish those would go away. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure the people who backed the game are very happy, but I freaking wish those would go away. Good day to you. I don't recognize you. What business do you have with House Domino? Uh, tell me about this place. It's an old and respected family. Much of Defiance Bay's prosperity is due to Domino business activities. Now, do you have any further business here? No. No. Hi, Rising Cosmos. I don't like that I can't go in that house at all. There was one that a mate suggested where you play as a hero that was betrayed by your team, so you become the bad guy. Oh, hi, Crin's Death. How are you? The frame around their name is gold rather than gray. It's subtle, but you can definitely see the difference. It's super annoying that you have to pay attention that much. Kill them all. I mean, yes, I want to, but I'm not going to do it yet. Um... I think I think we've already been in these two places. So I feel like we just need to go to like the records archive and a bunch of other stuff. Um Yeah, let's go back to Copper Lane. Yeah, I'll kill them all later. I'll kill them all sometime later probably when I figure out what it is that they're doing. Such violence. Um, we have to go kill what's his butt in the sewers. The undead guy. Undead sewer guy. Where? Oh, did I miss the? Oh, they're over here. Whoops. 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 That's fine. Undead sewer fella. All right. I think that he was trying to remember. No, he wasn't up there, was he? He was over there? Yeah. Oh. I forgot I'm injured. Ah! Okay, it'll be fine. I can kill one dude. I can kill one dude. I'll be okay. <laughs> I keep forgetting to rest. What, Eater is like severe burn and twisted ankle? <sighs> Slept first. Or just murder. We could slap. Or we could just murder. Murder. 
Hey, what's your butt? Um, <clears throat> I spoke to Modred. He doesn't have your grimoire. There's not much fun in a joke if you have to explain it, is there? If you can't fulfill my need for vengeance, then you'll have to serve another purpose. I'm afraid a fierce hunger was awakened along with me. Fight time! Time for fight! Um... Yeah, let's go attack the Revenant. I'm here. Following your lead. Your Okay. It's fine. See? It's totally fine. Totally fine. No problems. Zero problemas. Why can't I like oh, I'm the wrong. I'm here. There you go. Ooh, a grimoire. He already had his grimoire? What a dick. A soul prowls within the bloodstone like a caged stelger. It's filled with a fierce, restless energy. Who are you? You see an image in your mind of a woman in heavy leather armor bearing twinned daggers. Next to her is a man, young and handsome, who calls her Rona. The vis vision shifts to a windswept plain next to a lake. Fifty men and women in matching leathers lay dead, their bodies contorted and deformed by some sinister sorcery. Rona falls among them, her body collapsing next to the young man you saw earlier. Welcome to the flock. Spartacus! Oh, thank you so, so much for that sub. Thank you for using your free Prime sub on me. Free subs are the best subs. I mean, I also love paid subs, but if you can take money from Amazon and give it to me, I, I like that too. It's very cyberpunk, so thank you. Um, she's too weak to speak, but the name Dalton appears in your mind. A lone figure strides across the battlefield, barely bothering to step over the corpses. His eyes are filled with an unnatural light and fixed on Rona. He reaches out to her, and what little life remained in her body departs. When he takes the amulet from around her neck, you feel her anguished soul trapped within it. With a final, contemptuous glance at the fallen Dalton, the man departs. Dalton sent me to find you. The soul pulses with warmth. It fills your mind with memories of a young man who's both bold and generous. But fury and despair gnaw those images away until all you can feel are the cold crimson walls pressing against you and something loathsome feeding off of you as the years fade into decades. What do you want? You see an image of the amulet shattering and the soul inside rising and dissipating among the stars. All right, peace. Certainly. Um, is there cool stuff in here? Tarnished locket. <laughs> well, you just you wait, Spartacus. You've got a fair amount of how many emotes do we have right now? I don't even know. I haven't looked in a while. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Heck, and we're gonna have a twenty-fifth one very, very soon. So, very exciting. You'll have a twenty-fifth free emote soon. Are you excited? Oh, I have all of the, like, uh, sorry, I guess. Oh, but. I forgot I have my two uh, 9 and 24 ones. So, minus two, 23 free emotes. The other ones you have to pay for. <laughs> I mean, it's still pretty good. 
That's 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 some good shit right there. That's some good shit right there. Yeah, I didn't realize. I forgot that there's two other cuz I don't have to sub to myself, obviously. Obviously. If I did have to sub to myself, that would be mean. Can you imagine how sad that would be if someone, like, wasn't even subbed to themselves? That'd be sad. Cover, places to see. Indeed. Though after five years, I'll be ready for a break. It is true. You have been at it far longer than I. Hello? Where will you go next when you have all the world to choose from? Did you find her? Yes, but not as you expected. Rowan, I used to wear this. Where did you get it? From Helig, who kept her soul trapped inside it for decades. It's time to set her free. Dalton's eyes widen in horror. No, please. After searching for her for so long, just to have her close to me, to visit her in my dreams, that would be enough. Enough for you, but what about her? If you'd kept her, if you keep her trapped in this amulet for the sake of your own comfort, you're no better than the wizard who imprisoned her. You're right. Please, let me do this. He draws a club with a trembling hand and crushes the amulet. As the gem cracks, you feel essence rush from it. The old man looks at the shattered gemstone. Thank you for showing me reason. Perhaps she'll wait for me in the next life. By the flame, she won't have to wait long. Please, take this. It's from my old adventuring days. I think it's time I finally let them go. Um, yeah, I have two mats. I have uh, Eater and Aloth, who are both mats. They're both mats. Um... I got a new Grimoire, didn't I? A Ring of Protection. Fortitude, Reflex, Will. I mean... You wear that. Um, and then... Uh, didn't I get a new Grimoire? Or... Is it... Oh, it's right here. Here we go. What did he have? Uh, console Hot's Draining Touch. Corrosive Damage to Target. And Ray of Fire, which is a beam. No, let's do this one. He knows so many spells now? Hot damn. Um, and then I got a Fine Robe. Which, uh, mm, I mean, what is she wearing? Light armor? He's wearing, oh, here we go. He's currently wearing uh, Constitution plus two and burn proofed. Recovery speed negative 15. This one's recovery speed negative 15. Mm -mm. DR5. Let's just, yeah, let's just give that to him and he can carry this. And then Dial Edwin, Edwin Dibita, unique club, one handed, accurate, fine, vicious. Who would use a club? I feel like all these people have ranged weapons. Fine hatchet. Interfering, fine, fine dagger. Um, is this a fine dagger, dagger one-handed? This is a stiletto one-handed. I think you could still use that, yeah? Probably. I have so much crap. I don't even know. 
Wah. Unwavering resolve. Intellect and resolve. Can he wear that? Intellect? Oh, it's um chest piece. I don't like how you can't wear a robe. You can't wear a cloak and a, a like circlet, right? I don't like I don't like that. Fine scepter. A regular scepter. Mm-hmm. Do I have any other? Not really. A one-handed flail. Cool. Isn't it theoretically possible to have a full party of mats? Is it? Can I? <laughs> Let's do it. Full party of mats. Let's go. I'm ready. Home, of course. Okay. Let's go to the Hall of Mysteries. Oh, wait. We have to sleep. We have to sleep first. I forgot. We have to go to sleep first. You can create custom NPCs and just give them Matt's voice. That flail heals you if you use it. Wait, really? Ooh, I want to give someone that flail. Hmm. We're two steps away from 715. Y'all know that fives are my favorite. Would that be a mat pack? A pack of mats? What do you call a group of mats? Greetings. Can I get a room? It'd be good for a tank or off tank. Ooh, my Amazon Prime order is going to arrive soon. Did you guys know that I ordered groceries? Let me just, like, real quick. I want to tell you how wonderful living in Seattle is. I ordered... When was this? I ordered... What time did I order this food? Uh, my orders. I just want I want you guys to be jealous. Okay. At 3.10 p.m., I ordered groceries. These groceries included Kleenex tissues, uh, Earth Balance, Brussels sprouts, chips, potatoes, bacon, grapes, eggs, freeze-dried strawberries, salami, Popcorn, milk, sugar, chocolate chips. I ordered all these groceries at 310. And they're going to be delivered at 430. Seattle is wonderful, okay? <laughs> Do you know they call more than a couple of mats a mat few? You live in Bremerton. It's amazing being able to order groceries. It is. Donuts and they arrived in 10 minutes. It was wonderful. What is it called when Matt is freelancing? Mercenary work. Ay. Okay. I have a couple people I'm supposed to talk to. How much do they charge for the grocery delivery? Well, I'm Prime. I'm Amazon Prime. The delivery is free. Um, because it was food, the tax was only 17 cents. And the tip for the delivery person, I get to choose. I put it as $4. The delivery is free because I have Amazon Prime. Ha ha ha. The free things you can get with Amazon Prime. Twitch subs. Delivery groceries. Hamil uh, Hannibal. Yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I don't leave the house. <laughs> um, okay. 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 Uh, <laughs> um, there was... Who was that person? Okay. Laura is a merchant in Copper Lane. All right, so let's go find the merchant Laura. I'm a, I'm a little bit smug about it. It's pretty damn cool, though. She's going to be over here, probably. 
Why why do you need to leave the house, Rising Cosmos? Your sock is just as important as what I find. Is that right? And what if you return empty handed? Huh? I never Hail return traveler. Empty -handed. I'm looking into some disappearances. I hear that your sister has gone missing. I... I didn't think anyone would help me. When Korra disappeared, I tried to unroll row, the Crucible Knights, even the dozens. No one had time to look for a missing girl. That was three weeks ago. If there's anything I can tell you that will help, just ask. Tell me about Korra. She's my younger sister. Always had a head full of dreams. She was convinced there was something special waiting for her that, uh, that she'd be remembered and happy and important. She's got plenty of heart, but not the commitment to match. Still, when she got the theater job, I thought things were about to turn around. What was Cora doing around the time she disappeared? She'd just gotten into this acting troupe called the... The... Mm, you know this. Concentrate. The Revel of Stars. That's it. She was pretty inexperienced. I think that's why she was so excited to get a role. I'm afraid I don't know anything else about it. When and where did you last see her? She was at her house, getting ready for their big performance. That was three weeks ago. Did you see her with anyone when she disappeared? She was, is, very sociable. She's always enjoyed crowds. I'm afraid I can't narrow it down beyond that. All right. You don't know how much this means to me. Just to know that someone's actually looking for her. Anything else? Um. Well met, friend. Uh, no, I don't need this stuff. I need lockpicks. Um. Oh, I can sell the traps that I'm never gonna lay. I will never ever lay traps because I just don't expect they'll ever do that. I probably won't ever use scrolls either, but I'll keep them for right now. Um, you said that this flail heals? Hmm. Well met, friend. Uh, okay, he just sells food. I don't care. Do you sell optics? Okay. Wait, no, I wanted to see what this person had for sale. Do you have... Lockpicks. Yeah. And then these are so, like, pretty expensive. Oh no, what's this? I didn't look at it. Uh, Lost Thane's Reach, a pike? The Lady's Hand, a scepter? Nah, we'll just get the lock picks, I think. Um, I don't need these. I'll keep the pry bar, I don't need a quarter staff. I just have so much crap. <laughs> so much crap. None of this is necessary. <laughs> None of this is necessary. Yeah, sell the ale. We don't need the ale. Okay. All right. So I wanted to go, now that we've got some rest, I wanted to go over to the Hall of Mysteries. Your uncle and his family lived in Vancouver for most of your life, so we go down sometimes. Yeah, Adam lives in Vancouver, and he comes and visits me a lot. I go there sometimes, but because I have Bella, it costs me um, money to... Um, to board her, so. Okay. Hmm.
You're going to Disneyland? Awesome, Kane. I've been there a couple times. I like it. I like it. Go to the Star Wars area. I'd wager there are more than a few banned books in here. Is that Matt? Is that Matt? Is that another Matt? That <laughs> sounded like another Matt, chat. Wait, okay. Welcome. The woman barely glances up from the tomes. Oh, that was our Matt. That was my Matt. You're all welcome to browse the stacks, but mind that you keep your voice down. This is still a temple, after all, and Grimda doesn't tolerate disorder. Tell me about yourself. I am a scrivener and devotee of Whale. It is my duty to look after our records and resources. This is a temple? It looks like a library. That's because it is. Whale is the god of mysteries and answers, encryption and decryption, concealment and revelation. Its guidance comes from the understanding of the unknown and the protection of hidden knowledge. The Hall of Revealed Mysteries was built to celebrate that. To think there's such a place in the Deerwood. Incredible. I'd love a glimpse of the archives. How many secrets sit upon these shelves? Mm, that didn't really answer my question. Yes, it is a library of sorts. Temples dedicated to whale tend to hold vast stores of knowledge. We use that knowledge to unravel and preserve the mysteries of the world. Who's Grimda? Why, she's the High Archivist. She's one of the most accomplished scholars alive today. Nothing goes on here without her knowing about it. Almost nothing, anyway. We probably should tread lightly around her today. All right, peace. So her outline is silver and his outline is gold. So that is that what people mean when you're like, people who have like this person, if I go up to them, will probably be like, Mah. okay, yeah, fuck that. Mah. Mah. 